I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. So Cam Danzler. It's kind of like a praying mantis, right? When he strikes, he can do a lot of damage. He just has to stay focused in and always be prepared to strike, right? Heavy. Now you talk about Cam Danzler. He still has a lot to prove, right? Still a lot of questions about him. What can he, what can he be? What type of cornerback can he be, right? If he reaches his full potential. See that play he made versus the Chicago Bears on Sunday? That said it all right there. He has a high upside, has a lot of potential still, right? But that play showed effort, right? Determination, skill, talent, playmaking ability. And he won the game for the Vikings, right? Even if you break the play down, his hard determination, not giving up on the play, right? Playing to the end. He actually missed the tackle, right? Got up. Said, give me that thing, right? Heavy. Didn't give up on the play. See, he could have just missed the tackle, stayed down, or jogged to the ball, assumed that another player would make the tackle correct. But he showed effort, right? Determination. Get to the ball. Take the ball, right? That's what it's about. So I give the defensive staff and coaches props on that. That's something that can be taught, right? can be hammered, needs to be hammered in a player's head so they understand the importance, the meaning of never giving up on a play. Playing until the end of the whistle, right? If you miss a tackle, get up, try to make it again. So that has a lot to do with coaching, but the player as well. Once again, Cam Danzler is like a praying mantis. When he strikes... Or if he stays in striking distance, right? <laughs> he can do damage, heavy. A very long cornerback, right? Has all the physical attributes to be a lockdown corner. His PFF grade is already higher this year than last year, right? He's playing better this year than last year. He still has things to fix. He can still work on things to improve his game, i.e. his cover skills. Right? He's a tackling machine. He's in the top 10 and catches allowed, which is pretty solid. So he's playing better football. Even though sometimes I think he may lose focus or not understand what he's doing at times. Maybe not go full speed, but once he gets all that together and he's always playing fast and understanding his job at his position, what he needs to be doing, play in, play out. His upside is very high. His potential to be a great corner in the NFL is very high, man. He definitely has the physical attribute 6'2, 190 plus, solid speed, right? A good athlete. That's why I think he will be great in man coverage. I want to see him more in bump and run, right? Up in a receiver's face. He has the range, the frame, the long arms, right? To bump and run or bump, go into zone. That's why I say they need to make some adjustments, switch things up on a defense at times, which could also help the cornerbacks in the coverage game. Heavy. But Cam Danzler is very promising, man. He has a lot to offer. Yeah, some questions about him. People want to see Booth and stuff, see how that goes. Some say he shouldn't be the starter. But I say the way he has been playing, he has stepped his game up this season alone. He has improved, right? Still has room to grow. But his, grain, his game has elevated. So he just needs to focus on continuing to grow and get better in that defense. Becoming the best cornerback possible. Working on his technique. His coverage skills. He's a great tackler. He can come up. 
and put a hat on a hat. No doubt in that he can be physical, right? He just has to go out there, play full speed every play, play good football, play loose, man. Understand what he's doing and just react. But he's proved a lot, man. Happy for him. Happy for the big play he made, right? Happy about the fact he hasn't given up, still working hard. A lot of people saying he's not it. He wasn't the guy. He shouldn't be the star in the corner, etc., etc. I've even said it. But that play Sunday, man, that was a great play. A great football play to seal the game. I'm very happy for him and the progress he's making, man. Bottom line. Now, if he can build on that game, improve, go out next week, make another big play, right? Make a big impact on the game once again. That might be the game, the moment <laughs> that puts him, his career on a whole different path, right? That one play could put him on the path to being an elite corner. You never know. It happens that quick, right? Sometimes it all clicks quickly, swiftly, right? In that moment, it all comes together. Gives him more confidence, more belief in himself, right? To the point where he's like, yeah, I belong in this league. I deserve to be in this league, right? I can be one of the best. That's what it's about. But Cam Danzler is a weapon. And he can be a problem week in, week out for the opposing team. He just has to show up with great energy, great focus, determination, big dog. But he took a step in the right direction on Sunday, heavy. And what a way to end the game, right? Snatching out a former Vikings hands. <laughs> Amir Smith Marset, shout out to him. But Cam Danzler did that, right? <laughs> Heavy. So once again, great play, man. Great way to step up for the team. Not giving up on the play. That's the main thing. He never quit on the play. And that's what it's about. So shout out Cam Danzler, man. Happy for him. Happy to see him help the team win. Finally, you know, make a game-changing play for real. And hopefully that propels him to the next level, big dog. Heavy. But let's get to it, man. They got them foul Miami Dolphins next week. <laughs> Five and one, man. Why not? Why not the Vikings? Let's get it. Oh, me. Oh, me. I ain't got no picture, you hear me? Skull. Like that.